Hey YouTube, this is Jira uh, Zero Seven One Three. Uh, nice to see y'all again. I haven't made a YouTube video in a while, so I thought I would. Now I'm actually gonna make my own review video. It's not gonna be anything, you know. I'm on base, so I can't really have guns or weapons or any of that crap, which I really, I don't really like, you know. I don't even have a gun range on this base, or one I can have access to, which freaking sucks. But either way, uh, I'm in uh, power school right now. Uh, it's I like it, you know. The name's been good to me so far. Um, hell, I'm in a freaking nice ass uh, room for where I'm at. And uh, either way, oh yeah, the background—that's a poster I got. And I, I like I like that Neutron movie. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of critics hated it, but I, uh, I'm more into the Daft Punk uh, soundtrack. So I got this little uh, poster too. It's cool as it'll glow in the dark too. I might show you all that in the end if it, if it's even dark enough. But either way. What I want to talk about today is uh, dress shoes, Na uh, and more specifically, Navy dress shoes, or what they issue us in boot camp. Uh, the, I looked it up online, tried, figured it out. Um, the dress shoes we are issued are Bates brand dress shoes, and uh, here, for reference, here they are. These are my dress shoes. Uh, they're kind of shiny, not too shiny. You can't really see it too much. I, I'm using the eyesight video, but they're all right. They're shiny a little bit, you know. But uh, they're all right for issued dress shoes. I mean, they give it to us, you know. They magically adjust our feet for the perfect pair of shoe or something like that. And uh, it's got rubber soles. And they're all right. They wear very good, you know. I'm not a big fan of them though. I never really was a big fan of them because they were always loose. They were, the, the rubber just the, the rubber on the bottom just uh, really peeved me off most of the time. It, it didn't really feel too good on my feet. Um, you could put in different soles and whatnot, but I don't like having to put it in, cut Dr. Scholl's and put that in there and all that. You know, dress shoes should be comfortable, in my opinion, from the get-go. I mean, the dress shoes. I shouldn't have to put a bunch of, of stuff in it just to make it feel comfortable. But uh, basically, the, these are the ones I was issued, and... Uh, I have since replaced them with a new pair of watch. I'm going to show in the front of the camera in a minute. But uh, Bates, uh, they're all right. I mean, but I kind of wish I had a more high quality shoe. The leather on it does not shine very good. I mean, I've I've tried everything. I've tried the lighter. If if I, if I, I don't know if my camera could show it, but I've tried light using a lighter on these because it just would not get shiny for me, and the leather is just not that good and I started looking around I found out the the style of shoe is a plain toe Oxford and I, I asked my chief and whatnot to say hey can I get like another pair of shoes so when I went back home on leave I could not find any anywhere and eventually uh, I put on some floor shines uh, at a Sears uh, place in the mall and they were brown they were plain toe Oxford those but they didn't have a black pair and uh, I actually kind of liked them and I, uh, first I was looking at Cole Hans. There was a pair of Cole Hans that I was actually interested in, but uh, they didn't work out. So then I uh, looked around and I looked on the Floorshine website. And I ordered these directly from online. These are my new dress shoes, which I currently wear with my NSU uniform, which I, if I can, I may throw up a picture uh, while I'm talking. But uh, these are my new dress shoes and as you can see these are way shinier I mean compared to those last ones uh, I mean you can get the baits this shiny but you have to work your butt off to try to get them to shiny I'm just gonna use one shoe like uh, here, here I'll, I'll show for reference here uh, the here is the uh, floor shine which as you see is pretty shiny and then here is the baits shiny as well but the floor shine is way shinier in the fact that I could see my face in this one. I can see my face in this one too, but it's much harder to get these shinier. And they're very, the leather, it just bends really quick. The sides of the shoe are not very stable. And it's just not a very well-made shoe in my opinion. Now, I could have gone the route of getting uh, the plastic crap that's always shiny. But I've actually looked at those plastic shoes and they're shoes. You have... You're wearing shoes. They're going to get messed up. And uh, if you get nicked in just the right spot, you're going to have a gash of plastic, of white crap on your shoe. 
and there might be things like paint or something to get that out, but you're never going to have as high quality as a shine as you would a leather shoe. Leather, in my opinion, is a much better shoe. Oh yeah, and for reference, th these actually have got the only the one complaint I have for the floor shines is that they, uh, even though I love the leather sole and that's what I wanted, I've now realized that with the concrete that's around the area, it just tears up that leather sole so bad. This used to be all brown, and I ride a bike with these on to work, so it, it, it just gets messed up. But the entire sole, there, it's got little rubber inserts right here. And here, not inserts or rubber padding right there, but the entire sole is leather, and I prefer that. The the I it, it feels better on my foot, and it gives a nice little firm crunch. Well, not a crunch, but it, I I I feel like I could walk better in these than I would the r rubber ones. Now, if I'm wearing like tennis shoes or something, yeah, I want you know like my Adidas or something like that. I want that the arch, you know, the rubber and all that stuff. But with dress shoes, I prefer a leather sole with a little bit of rubber on it, exactly like this one. And what turned me on to this shoe is that I called up Florsheim and I was like, hey, I'm looking for a shoe. I saw this one. I saw one that I was interested in that I looked like I could probably get. And then she told me, well, that one doesn't really shine up nice. I I, I will put you, uh, I, I, I will show you in the reference to the shoe that I think you would prefer. And uh, she told me about the uh, Florsheim uh, Lexingtons. This is the Lexington brand shoe. And it's the exact same style as my other base shoe. It's a little bit longer, but it, it's still the same plain toe Oxford. But it, it is a, just a fantastic shoe, and I love it. I mean, uh, and they're $100 online plus shipping. But uh, a coupon code she gave me uh, allowed me to get these for $15 cheaper with free shipping. And I don't know if that uh, the coupon code is still going to work. But I will post that up here uh, for y'all uh, and see for my, uh, it's only for military, uh, I believe. At least that's what she told me, just for military. And uh, I called her up and it, the coupon code worked. And uh, more than likely, uh, if you're in the Navy or if you wear a Planto Oxford for your dress shoe, I'm sure, I'm sure other military brands wear the same shoe probably. But... It's just, it, it, there's nothing like it. It's just the perfect shoe, in my opinion. But, uh, oh crap, I'm getting up to eight minutes now. Oh well, um, either way, guys, uh, that's the end of my YouTube video. Uh, I'll post up the uh, coupon code on here if y'all want to get some of these floor shines for $85 without shipping. Uh, without paying for shipping, that's how much it was for me. And, uh, so if you get a really nice dress shoe, well... Thanks, guys. I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, hopefully, I can get some shooting videos up soon because I'm bored. Talk to you later.